Hi there lovely people, you've got Sammy here. Today we're going to be doing the African Summer Snowflake Square as part of our 365 Granny Square Day Crochet Along project. So I've just made a ring by chaining four and slip stitching together and then done a chain of two. We're going to be doing double crochet two together uh, for this round. Uh, first row round we'll have six so in case it wasn't clear there we yarn over go into the center of the ring and pull up a loop yarn over go through two back into the ring pull up a loop yarn over through two and then through the final two so yarn over into the ring and pull up a loop just like a normal double crochet. So we only go through two, go back in, pull up another loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. So there'll be six of them in this round. And pop a chain one space between them, yarn over into the loop. Pull one up, into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, into the loop, pull up a ring, yarn over, through two, loop, and two, chain one. Yarn over, into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, through two, into the ring, pull up a, a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, and chain one. So at the end of this round, we'll have six double crochet two together and six chain one spaces. I'll let you guys finish off round one. I'll meet you back here ready to do round two. I'm going to be finishing off with this color at the end of the round, uh, and we're joining into the top of the first double crochet two together, not the starting chain. Okay, so guys, we're back and ready to do round two. Now I've um, made a bit of a start. Let's see if I can. There we go. Working puff stitch. It's a little bit different this round. So just joining into any chain one space between your double crochet two together. We're going to do uh, yarn over three puff stitch. Once you've done the first one, you'll need to be careful to hold on to your chain so it doesn't twist while you do this stitch. So yarned over, go and pull up a loop in the chain one space, yarn over, go in, pull up a, a loop, yarn over, in your chain one and pull up a loop, yarn over, and then pull through all loops, do a chain. Now we're doing two into each chain one space, so yarn over, into the chain one, pull up a loop, Yarn over, into the chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the chain space, pull up a loop, yarn over and through all loops to complete our puff stitch. Now we've done the first row, we're going to turn it, our work, we're going to work two puff stitches in between the, the two we just did. These are all three yarn over puff stitches. And we're pulling it up to a nice height <clears throat> so you get a decent puff on the stitch. Now we've got two rows. We turn our work back so if we're looking at the right side, slip stitch into the space between the two puff stitches and do a chain of six. Slip stitch back into the same space. I'm going to slip stitch over to the top of the puff stitch 
into the chain four. We move over to our next chain one space from the previous round and start again. So if you want to follow along with the video, go back around three minutes. At the end of this round, we'll have six petals, each consisting of four puffs, so 24 puffs, six chain four spaces, which are the ones between, and six chain six spaces. Mindful not to chain too tightly. Alright, see you back here for round three. Okay, finished off round three by slip stitching into the top of the first puff right, stitch. Alright, ready for round three. Just going to slip stitch into a chain four space between our puff petals. Oop, what have I done now? Slip stitch, chain three. Two double crochet all into the chain four space. Now, this round may make your work buckle a little bit. Don't worry too much because it will flatten out as you continue working the square. Now, we're going to do a front post double crochet around the double crochet two together from round one. And keep that stitch a little bit longer and then three double crochet back into the, cha the same chain four space two slip stitch into the middle of the top two puffs so between the slip stitch and the base of the chain six loops I've just gone up in the center pull through a loop you can't even see it there chain one and we do it all again so I'll run through that once more three double crochet into the chain space a front post double crochet around the double crochet two together from round one Trying to keep that stitch nice and long so it doesn't buckle too much. Another three double crochet into the same chain space. Oops. Now we're slip stitching into the top stitch here. I'm just going to go in between them, back through the chain, grab the loop and pull it through to the back, through the loop, chain one. Alright, if you want to follow along with the video for the rest of round three, go back around three minutes, 15 seconds. Otherwise, continue with that same stitch sequence. I'll meet you back here ready for round four. Okay. We're looking a little bit buckled, as I said we would after round three. Now, Jane, for round four, we're going to join with a slip stitch from the back to the front of the chain six loop. So we're going to go through the hole, same as we did for the slip stitches for the last round. Get off the hook. There we go. We're on. And I'm just going to fold that down because we're going to be working 
in that space under the chain loop, so in the gap. I'm going to pop in two single crochet. A single crochet chain of four our front post single crochet around our front post double crochet of the previous round chain of four now remember we're not working into the chain space working into that little anchor point that we used last time so I'm going to go in under, pull the loop up, and push that down, in under, one, and two. Now even though we've pushed it down, it's still going to sit up nicely because we're working in the space behind it. I'm repeating that same pattern all the way around, and chain four. Single front post single crochet around the front post double chain four. Now it really is if you push that pedal down, go through the center and then go through the gap between the two puff stitches, pull up your loop there and do two single crochet. It is so much easier. I'll let you guys finish off that round if you want to follow along with the video go back just under three minutes otherwise I'll meet you back here for round five I'm going to be continuing with the same color for the next you round. see this beauty starting to come together now I'm going to continue with the same color for round five I just joined uh, into the first single crochet with a slip stitch I'm going to slip stitch through the next one and into the chain four space and chain one and I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around I'm going to do four half double crochet into the chain space one two three four I'm going to chain one another four half double crochet into the chain four space into the next chain four space and then chain one just keeping that chain behind the chain six space and then another four half double crochet. So this round's just four half double crochet into each chain four space with a chain one space between. So fairly simple. I'll leave you guys to it and meet you back here for round six. I'm going to be changing colors for the next All round. Right, back for round five. I'm going to slip stitch into one of the chain six loops from round two. I'm going to chain six chain six and slip stitch back into the same chain six loop tails everywhere now we're going to single crochet into the back loop of the next eight half double crochet so back loop back loop only just working into the half double crochets
Oh, and we're just into the back loops of the half double crochet. Slip stitch into the round six loop from round two, chain six, slip stitch into the same loop, and then back to our single crochets. So we're going to repeat that exact stitch pattern all the way back to the beginning where we will slip stitch to the first chain six loop um, and I'm going to finish up with this color. So looking beautiful now. Ready for round seven. Now we're going to one of those chain six loops we just did we're going to fold it forward go in we want to loop around and slip stitch slip stitch over one of the chain six loops from round two so the same as we did in the previous round so that'll still sit above it it just sits nicely behind our work we're gonna chain one single crochet into the same space chain six We're going to skip six of the single crochet and we're going to do a corner in the seventh. So into the seventh, a double crochet, I'm going to get into that stitch properly. Two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet, chain six. Now we're going to skip the next single crochet, the loop, and another four. One, two, three, four. Going into the fifth. With a single crochet. Chain six, so we're going to skip the next three singles, the loop, and two more single crochet. I'm going to go into the third, make another corner, so two double crochet. In two and another two double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six.
I'm going to skip six single crochet. do a single crochet chain six Skip six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in the seventh, we're going to make a corner. Do a double crochet. Chain two. And another two double crochet into the same stitch space. Three corners done. Getting those points in front. Chain six. Skip the loop. One, two, three, four, five. Into the sixth. Another single crochet. Got one corner to make left to make for this round. So chain six. One, two, three, four, five. checking there's six each way we'll do our final corner of two double crochet chain of two and two double crochet and it's a chain of six to link back up And we'll slip stitch into the top of our first single crochet. And that's a chain. Alright, round six is completed and we're ready to move on to round eight. So we're starting to square up. Looking good. I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain six space. We're going to chain one. I'm going to work six single crochet. Two, three, four, five, <laughs> and six. And chain one. I'm going to pop a half double crochet into the next two double crochet one two two half double crochet into the corner chain space ah, my apologies it's two double crochet Two double crochet, chain of two, another two double crochet, half 
double crochet into the two double crochet one two and then six single crochet into the chain space so if you want to follow this section along with the video go back about two and a half minutes I believe otherwise continue in that same stitch pattern I'll meet, meet you back here ready to finish off this gorgeous square okay we're nearly done it really is a gorgeous square our final round is just to square up um, I'm going to chain three is the first double crochet um, it is our squaring up round so if your sizing is out if you don't need a double crochet in this round to get it to, to size do a half double or a single uh, if you need more than a double just repeat this round in whatever size stitch you require I'm going to do half doubles I'm going to and I'm going to just pop a half double crochet into each stitch all the way to the corner I hope you found this tutorial helpful please don't forget to give us a like so that we can spread the happy hooking word further on our YouTube channel and I cannot wait to see all your beautiful creations so just putting a stitch into each stitch to finish off this square and the corner we're going to stick with the same formula that we used on the previous round which is so we'll say double crochet for the sake of the tutorial two double crochet a chain of two and two double crochet and just continue that all the way back to our starting point we'll have a beautiful solid square ready to join into the rest of our project have a fabulous day until next time happy hooking